Hello everyone, you're here with Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, the HD edition for the PS3. Um, I decided to do a, a quick blitz play, yeah, quick, without cutscenes because if I were to play this game with cutscenes, oh my god, it would take forever. And to be honest, I think I would go a little insane. And actually, the reason I'm playing with, um, I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 2 first instead of Metal Gear is because I'm doing Metal Gear currently on another channel called Indie Games. Uh, the video will not be uploaded on there for quite some time though. So, this is Mugger Solid 2 and we are doing the... We're going to start doing both Tanker and uh, Big Shell. Like I said, no cutscenes, no, none of that. Just pure gameplay. Why? Because, the mission as I just said, if I were to watch every single cutscene and try to like commentate right, on every single last thing, I would go crazy. Because, you know, people like to say, you know, these games have a lot, lot of cutscenes, you know, I never really mind that much, but it's when you try to like constantly to talk fixed. through the cutscenes where it's just like you really realize just how how long it, you know these cutscenes are. So I'm just not gonna do that. But Metal Gear Solid is just like it is really is one of my you know it's my favorite video game series of all time. Just hands down, really one of the best ser uh, game ser game seasons game series game series. To me personally, I just I just love it, and I played through Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, I, I I didn't play through like some like you know fuck ton amount of times. You know, I probably played it. I probably beat the game at least a good ten times. But I played through um out of all the games, you know Metal Gear Solid 2 is my favorite, but you know it's, it's still a pretty good game. But one of my favorites is Metal Gear Solid 3. So, I actually haven't like played through this game in quite some time. So, everything's gonna be a little uh, not new, but I shouldn't be uh, having much problems with any of the boss battles getting through the game. I mean, there are gonna be certain sections later on where I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble, and hopefully I won't get any alerts. But we'll just we'll you know we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we, uh, we get to it. Um, really, I don't think I'll have any much problem here with the. Uh, the uh, I don't know what the fuck they call this. I can't remember the name. The tanker mission, but uh, it's when we get to the big shell that I'll have some difficulty because I can't. I, just, I can't remember the exact layouts to uh, the big shell. And really, the only trouble I'm ever I have here in the tanker is going to be near the very end where we have to uh, uh, go through a room with a lot of uh, different soldiers. But you know, hopefully that won't be too big of a deal. Uh, no camera. Freeze. Freeze. Uh. Alright, oh, uh, shit. No oh, shit. I kind of want to go get the, uh... The, uh... God, what am I trying to think? Hold on, I need to get this guy's head. Fuck. Alright, there we go. Yeah, Simtech, explosives. I don't need to worry about that. Cause I just, I know like this like the back of my hand. Oh, oh god. I don't know why I did that, I just usually do that for the hell of it. But. I played... I played through Metal Gear Solid 2, um... About when I was like 8 or so. It was really my brother that got me into, um... Like overall my brother got me into games, but like... You know... I'm trying to like think, uh... He got me started with Metal Gear. He got me started with a few, quite a few games. My brother did. He got me started with uh, Fable because I, I enjoyed uh, Fable. You know, Grand Theft Auto in a way because I remember back when the PS2 came out. I want to actually not like like I, cause back when I was young. I like I really didn't know much about video games. So like you know like new consoles is like what are new consoles? You know? Oh, you mean the, the PlayStation? No, that's an old console. It is. You yeah. know? But it's just one of those things. All right, I'm gonna not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. No context, man. I, I, I skipped your cutscene. I don't even know what's going on with you. All I know is that. Oh, oh shit! There, there goes the uh, dad. Oh, she saw me, didn't she? Oh. Right, I just got some of the annoyances out of the way. Um, can I get this um, ration? Yeah, I got the ration. Let's equip that ration because I'm not sure if she'll actually be able to get me a few times. Because this is like. This is actually a pretty interesting fight because, like, 
she'll shoot where she last saw you. So if you know if she's behind cover and you quickly roll into a new position, you know, you kind of like advantage. Uh, shoot her in the. Did I shoot her in the foot? Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. This sounds gonna be kind of. I'm not gonna be like. I'm not too great at this game. Like, I'm not like. Oh shit. Well, how the hell did she shoot me? Oh, she got like back some. Actually, one of the interesting things in this fight was like, once you start shooting her. Oh, motherfucker. When you start shooting her enough, she actually starts slowing down, which I thought was pretty interesting, because technically, once. Motherfucker. Because the only gun you'll have. The only gun you can acquire here is the. Uh, what can I acquire? But you start out with is the M9. So, she starts slowing down. Another interesting thing is like, if you. Uh, motherfucker. I find it weird. Wait, no, can you? Yeah, you can actually kill her. Or wait, no, or do you get time paradox? I know the uh, third game did that with uh, fucking uh, revolver off a lot. I thought that was a pretty interesting thing. But for the longest time with Metal Gear Solid 3, I honestly thought that it was the same character. I thought it was Solid Snake still. I didn't like. I didn't. I did not realize it was a big boss until way later. But that's one of my stupidities as a. Uh, what the fuck? There we go. Came with a bolt missed, but that was just one of my stupidities back when I was younger. But anyhow. Uh, another thing is like, you know, a lot of people give this game backlash about Raiden. I, I don't mind Raiden as much as like a lot of other people do. I don't, you know, he's, he's an okay guy. I mean, uh, I, I kind of, he's like, I didn't, I never, mis I never hated him. I just kind of was like, you know, all right, we play a solid snake. Who the fuck is this guy? Who's this new guy? And if it wasn't for that, I think, you know, Raiden would have done a lot better. But, you know. For what I keep on hearing, uh, yay, you know. I haven't really play played this game on the PlayStation much. I got this game, like, I got this game a while after it came out, and, like, I haven't touched it, like, well, I haven't touched the uh, second or third game since. And that's because, um, i trying to think. And as for the fact that, uh, I, I, I played uh, Peace Walker more, because I, I like Peace Walker. Because, you know, Peace Walker, Peace Walker, Peace Walker is probably the, like, Best Mega Golf Solid game at the moment. Out at the moment. Dang. I like I said, just it's one of my favorite games of the Metal Gear Solid series. If like the only problem I have with it is for the fact that it was like it started. It was on PSP. You know, I had PSP. You know, I thought it was pretty good. It's just like you know, like it could have been so much better if they if it made it ground up for you know consoles. But yeah, Hideo Kojima decided not to do that, and you know what? It's, you know, he's, it's whatever he says. Whatever he says goes. That's how it goes. Alright, so. We got two of these guys. Shit. I'm actually not going to be able to get them that easily. Wait, no. I just need to... Get that. Um, you actually, uh, if you go to the door to the, in the, to the right, you know, four to the right, you can actually get a cardboard box, but... I, I, you know, even the cardboard box is cool, but I never use it, because I don't need it. Alright, wait for that guy. Oh, shit! <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, shit, I thought I was going to get for a second there. Freaking me the fuck out. Man, I was about to get screwed. Um, but you need to actually do the boss fight for Olga just to get her SOCOM. Because, you know, you have to uh, use the SOCOM to destroy some uh, stuff. Just some stuff. Shit. Uh, back there is only like some SOCOM ammo if I remember correctly. Not really needed, but I do need to go down there for different stuff. Freeze. Huh? Alright, shit, he's not going on. Boom! Is he, no, he's getting back up. Oh, no, 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 he's going. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah, this is where we go. I'm trying to think. Uh, we're actually going to, well, not really skip an area, but we're just not going to go to a certain area. I can just skip that guy entirely. 
I thought that's I I kind of found some enjoyment with this area right here, because this guy's actually surrounded by a. Uh... Oh no, no he's not. Never mind. They're just so you guys are surrounded by like, these flies. Oh wait, no, there they are. I'm not sure what the fuck they are. Oh, I just saw them. Where'd they go? I, is it not in this version? Oh shit, I don't go in this area spot. It's to the right. That's right. Ah oh, fuck. Well, at least I get a better chance of shooting this guy in the back. Line up that red dot. Ah, oh, yes. Excellent shot. You know, if I, um... When I get to Beast Walker, I would like to try and possibly do co-op. Because I have not really done much of co-op in, uh, Beast Walker. The only co-op I've done so far is a, uh... It's one of the fights with the Chrysala. Is that how you pronounce it? Chrysala? I, I can't remember. That's like the only co-op thing I did, and like it really like my person like my partner really didn't help that much, so it's kind of like, well, what the fuck? Alright, a oh, spoken raven, a little toy of his, Illuminar. I think like, that's what he said. He says like Illuminar. Actually, you know, I'm gonna show him and shoot him. Just show you. See, like he he says Illuminar. Oh shit! I actually forgot about that. Well, you know, whatever. A dead body's out of the bag. Uh, there's gotta be something here. Oh, nope, nope, nothing. Freeze. Move. Freeze. Actually, I can't remember if I shoot him, does he, like, fall overboard? Come on, just fall dead, man. Or not fall dead, but, like, just fall down. And since I can't trust you to go to sleep for a while, I need to shoot you. Actually, there's a guy. Oh shit, no, that. Oh shit, no, he passed. Should no, actually I can just stand up here and shoot him in the back. There we go. And. It's funny, um, one of the things I remember about, uh. Peace, uh, not Peace Walker, but, uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 so much is how the intro to that game scared the fuck out of me. Like, I was just, like, for some reason scared of the first Metal Gear Solid game. Like, just, like, the enemies just scared the living crap out of me. Not because, you know, they look scared, but just because, you know, like, they had guns. And, like, when you ever get caught, it's just, like, you made that whole Dee! sound, whatever the fuck it was. Ah, uh, that's person that scared me. <laughs> but, you know, I can run through, uh, that game quite easily. I can run through this game quite, quite easily. Not, like, perfectly. Like, I played, uh, if I had to, if I had to choose, no, like, I, if, Compared this game to Metal Gear Solid 3, I've played Metal Gear Solid 3 like 20 times more than I have this game. But, and at, and at the same time, I, like, I haven't played. Like, when I was playing these games when I was young, I was like, you know, that person that was like, oh, put it on easy mode, you know? I was unfortunately that easy person. But I got over my whole playing the game on easy mode quite soon, but. Something I grew, grew out of. You know, I stopped playing games on easy. And I'm glad. Because. Some pushy shit right there. Right, it's hard to tell where he's, like, viewing. Freeze. <gasps> Bam! Alright, there's only one more guard I have to deal with. And he is right here. Hopefully, I can get, just get an automatic shot on him. Come on, step out, you son of a bitch. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on right, the port side is complete. We'll return to position right, following on. patrol Keep. in the small room on the port side. Keep going. There we go. I know some of the guys you have to be careful because you have to keep on reporting in. And if you are not careful, then you are fucked. Alright, so one right there. Alright, uh, let's see what's in here. There's actually a lot of things about Metal Gear Solid 2 that I have like not, like never done. Like if you stare at one of the uh, posters and you contact you know uh, Otacon, you do like this whole self. Uh, just, I I can't remember like self. Uh, you're relieving yourself. Yeah. Otacon is just like, what the fuck are you doing, Snake? Actually, something I didn't do is uh, I, I usually do is lots. I usually take a picture of uh, Olga and I send it to him. Actually, no, wait. No, wait, no, he doesn't. I thought I saw. Oh shit! It's always this last one. I actually never mind. 
Oh shit, come on, let's move on. I'm actually you know, making good time. And with that, I think this is a good part to leave off with part one. We have for like, you know, we haven't gotten like that far with not doing cutscenes, but you know, we actually got a pretty good distance. So until the next time guys, good day slash night slash whenever.